Are you making piñata cakes? If yes, have you tried making theme piñata cake? Well, here is a step-by-step -step tutorial on frozen theme piñata cake that I had made for my daughter's birthday back in March. So to make the super easy theme cake, we would need melted chocolate of course. Food coloring of choice, I am using teal, sky blue and plain white chocolate here. You would also need a silicone mold like this to make the circular shape. We would need to make two such chocolate molds. So we will be repeating the entire process shown in this video twice. Coming to the recipe, we will start by melting chocolate. Now I have a super detailed video on how to melt chocolate the right way. Actually not one, but three must watch videos on chocolate. So I will link up all of those up here and also in the description box. Please go through that and hence I'm skipping the melting part in this video and we will directly start with melted chocolate. So this is compound melted chocolate for your reference. I'm just simply separating the chocolate into two containers and coloring them as choice. Then simply add few spoonful of chocolate into the mold just in a random manner and working quickly swirl and twirl the mold to coat with chocolate completely. Also uh, keep in mind to add few additional spoonfuls if needed especially on the edges to give that added stability. Now bear in mind not to swirl too much or else you won't get that proper marble effect and all the colors would be mixed up. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Gently invert the silicone mold to drip off the excess chocolate. Finally, to set it, we will rest it on top of a bowl like this. This is a mandatory step to retain its shape. Uh, so I'm going to allow it to set at room temperature itself. Uh, trust me, it won't take long, especially white chocolate doesn't take that long. But if it is super hot and you cannot leave it uh, to set outside, then in that case, let it sit in the refrigerator for just until it is set. You can watch this chocolate pop-up video uh, to understand the exact process of uh, how long to set it in the refrigerator. Okay, so once the chocolate sets, slowly unmold it to release the base of the pinata. Um, the trick here is to first release the mold from around the edges, then invert it onto your worktop and slowly, gently pull the silicone mold towards you. Personally, I feel that is the easiest way to unmold. Um, it's not too complicated. It would be done pretty easily. Now, I recommend you to keep it on top of a bowl like so to retain the shape and then store in an airtight container at room temperature as seen in this video. If it is too hot at your place, then store in a cool place like your wardrobe or maybe in an air conditioned room. Simply avoid contact with direct sunlight for obvious reasons, right? Okay, now so proceeding with the recipe to even out the surface, place it on top of a hot tawa and quickly remove it. Remember, we do not want to melt the chocolate, right? Just we want to even out the layers. So be quick here and quickly remove it. Then place the base and add any fillings of your choice. Um, the the trending Koryo bento cakes would be a suitable addition here but I am simply adding some chocolates here because apart from this I also made million other things for her birthday so I'll add a link of that video here in the i button and also in the description box for you guys to check out if you are interested. So once you have added the filling, close with the other half and seal both the parts with some more melted chocolate. Allow it to set too.
If you see a crack like this, then just fill in fill the gap with the melted chocolate and it would cover up the gap and also act as a sealing agent. So just fill it till it reaches the top and then place the other half. Just ensure that you have given the tawa treatment to the upper half too. Okay, now we will allow this to set to completely. As you can see, the chocolate is not set at the moment. So play around, adjust until you are satisfied with the uh, shape of it and then allow it to set. Again, seal any cracks as seen here in the video. Now that your base is ready, let's prepare the decorations as per theme of choice. For this Elsa Piñata cake decorations, I am uh, rolling in some fondant and cutting out snowflakes using different sized snowflake cutters. Adding a layer of edible glue on top and sprinkling some sugar pearls or sugar sprinkles. I just don't remember exactly what it is called but I will link all the products in the description box for you. Finally, time to assemble everything. Using your fingers, just add a thin layer of melted white chocolate onto the back of your fondant and stick it on top of the piñata cake. Now, this is your chance to cover up any flaws. Take a good look and stick the decorations to not only make it look aesthetically pleasing, but also to cover up any fall flaws, if any. Shh, but just don't let the customer know about this little secret. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, repeat the process until you are satisfied and then place it on top of the cake board. If you notice, I have covered the cake board also with some fondant. Again, this would also enhance your theme look and the overall look of the cake. To stick it in place, add some melted chocolate and then place your pinata cake on top. I am seriously not that great when it comes to making fondant figurines so I am using a toy version of Elsa, Anna and Olive and making them stay in place by using some fondant which gives an appearance that they are standing on top of snow. Like I mentioned even if I was good at figurines I don't think I would have attempted it that particular day because of the million other things that I was making. Again you can watch the re video for the same from the link button above. Finally, dusting some icing sugar all around for that added snow effect and voila, easy peasy lemon squeezy frozen piñata cake is all ready. I'm not attaching the breaking of the piñata video clips here um, as my daughter celebrated her birthday in her preschool and we are not allowed to share other kids images or videos online. Need to respect their privacy, right? I hope you guys understand. But yeah, we'll try to insert an image of the inside look somewhere for you to get an idea. Hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for today. Do give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and family. Consider subscribing for new baking and desert videos every single week. I'll see you soon in my next one. Until then, this is Sushma signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.